are an embodied reflection of Source. You are thus infinitely empowered, abundant, and a co-creator with your context always. You are an alchemist. Divination works because the web of life is intelligently organized with coordinated and storied agency. Let's take a look at the stories playing out now. Hi everyone, welcome to October 2016. There's a lot going on, much growth and evolution, many people are awakening now. Let's take a look at nature's unfolding cycle. And to do that, we look at the new moon point, which is a natural new seeding point. September 30th, 2016, we're going to have our second new moon of the calendar month. And that's considered what's called a black moon. You can see from this particular image that we're looking at, there's a full moon in the background. But this image was too uh, appropriate and adorable for what I wanted to use it for to not use it. But we're talking about the new moon, which is um, when the sun and moon are conjunct. And it's going to be happening at the exact point. The narrative starts on the 30th of September at 5.11 p.m. Pacific time. The Sabian symbol, the story, the narrative that is underpinning the energy set of this 8 degree 15 minute Libra new moon is three old masters hanging on the wall of a special room in an art gallery. The keynote from Dane Rudyard is... The need to return to source during a confused search for new value in a chaotic society. Now we can feel into a couple of things. One is just paying attention to what the symbol is showing you in your mind's eye. Three old masters, old masters paintings hanging on the wall of a special room in an art gallery. This has to do with mastery. This has to do with tradition. This has to do with um, creative endeavors. And it is the number three. Three is creation, it is communication, and it's also community. And of course, Libra is um, all about justice, equanimity. It's about harmony and peace in relationships. And indeed, there's much activated on the global stage with regards to um, the duality of the human nature is really coming to the fore. And so, indeed, the keynote of the need to return to source during a confused search for a new value in a chaotic society could not be more appropriate for the now. Libra. So let's take a look and see what's happening for you specifically, your demographic. So first we are going to take a look at um, the underpinning narrative. What is the story happening over the course of this Libra new moon cycle? Of course, your new moon cycle throughout October 2016. You received two I Ching hexagrams. You received number eight holding together and that I Ching hexagram came with changing lines so it became number 59 dispersing so this combined message of holding together and dispersing is interesting because it has to do the first one holding together with teamwork and successful leadership um, binding people together with a common goal so it's about holding a team together dispersing has to do with that which melts but which melts and brings big change later so for example dispersing talks about ice flows that melt in the spring and then become raging rivers that uh, create great change dispersing does have to do with dissolving so if you imagine ice melting into water, so what was solid or what was an obstacle is melting into flow. And, well, let's move on now, actually, to your reading, to the spread. Now, before we talk about the cards and the reading, I will tell you that when I was shuffling for you, it was an extraordinarily long shuffle. And it took a very long time before it was ready 
to come to the surface. And I got right in the middle of my head very dizzy. So it felt literally in the middle of my head at the pineal gland, a deep sense of dizziness, like vertigo. And I think that that's what's going on for you. I think the reason why it took so long to pull up the reading for you and the reason why I got that deep vertigo in my head is because you have this back and forth for you perhaps between holding together and dispersing, keeping things together and letting things go. And so if we look here at your reading, the center message for you over the course of this month is dreaming, imagining, envisioning. This is about what you wish to come to manifestation for you, or perhaps to what your dreams were. So it could be you're thinking about what you used to dream for yourself, maybe as a child or as somebody younger. And um, what I'm getting for you with this reading is that it is important now for you. You can see the important card, uh, Yogi Bhajan, um, in that right sector. That's the spiritual sector. So at a very deep, profound level for many, many Libras out there, this is a very critical time frame for you to move, to act, to insist. And it has to do with making connections to your deeper work in the world. So let me explain what's happening here. At the base of the spread, you can see two cards, connection and mission of the soul. The mission of the soul card does speak to your work in the world, the greater service, the greater journey that you're here to walk in service to the collective. Connection for you is linked to your mission and right now it's an important topic for you so you are needing to insist up at the top of the spread you see the insisting card right now to make your dreams a reality you need to begin insisting or become resolute in your mind keep in mind I had that deep vertigo in my head as I was pulling your spread you need to become clear resolute about what your dreams are and the actions necessary to move toward them. And it takes connecting. So for a lot of you out there, any isolation that's taken hold, that's gone to an extreme, it's time now to connect with others of like mind. In fact, it's very critical that you do that because it's part of your mission of your soul's journey connecting with like minds. We all have to do that, right? It's not just Libras, but for you this month during this cycle, it's key that you now reach out and connect with others. And if you look in the emotional sector, on the left side, you see soon past. So what I'm getting for you is that there's actually a time element here for you. It is important for you to take action, become insistent, and make connections as you're called to do it. You don't want to force anything, but as you get the insights to make certain connections, you want to do it. Because with soon past coming up, it you might be feeling or sensing or experiencing um, a reality that maybe time is limited, like there's a window of time that you have to make certain connections. And indeed, it might be the case. So there is a bit of a portal or a window that soon these opportunities that are showing up will pass you by. And you don't want that to happen, not right now. So if you are meeting people that are quite intriguing, or you have certain insights or intuitions to make a phone call, to throw an email out, to make a connection, you are to do that, okay? Now, let's move on to your Dakini. So the embodiment for you, the guidance for the embodiment for Libra is number 59, Pythia. Now let's look at the number, five, nine. Five is change. Nine is cycle completion. So when you look at that, this is about you making some movement, some action, making some change with regards to the ending, a completion of a cycle and a start of a new cycle, okay? 
So there is something about a cycle rotation happening for you. And indeed, this is your new moon. So uh, Pythia is about um, the oracle. This is about like the oracles of Delphi. The, the Python is the energy of the wise one. Uh, there's also something here with Pythia about overcoming fears and awakening your Kundalini energy. Okay, so that there's um, there's a sleekness to Python, there's a wisdom to Python, there's a depth, you know, there's a connection to other worlds in the Python. Okay, it's also about great power because the Kundalini energy is imagined to be a coiled snake at the base of the spine. So there's great power in Pythia. You are to become the powerful oracle within. And that might help whatever confusion or dizziness, uh, distraction uh, some of you are feeling out there. It's time to slow your roll, slow your mind, take deep breaths, let certain things go, don't be online all the time. It really is becoming a deep addiction for a lot of people. So it is time to manage your life and to really take the reins back. So if some of you are actually feeling dizzy or just feeling confused about what path to take, slow down, breathe, and pay attention to the contacts that are knocking at your door because there's people wanting to connect with you that are going to help you with your dreams. Okay, Libra, I'm sending you so much love for this cycle for you. I'll talk to you again next month. Bye.